Five minutes. Five minutes for what? <laughs> oh, no, it's longer than that. Come on. We'll be longer than that. Yeah, what's that? Wrap it up, John, please. <laughs> now, look, I started late. I do an hour. Okay, <laughs> What of us? Good question. I was wondering when somebody was going to ask that. Uh, it, the producer is a new man. Uh, he, he is the nephew of Lord Grade, which you've all heard of, no doubt. The television mogul who makes failure after failure. <laughs> uh, his nephew has also not been an enormous success because he had a big job on American television and he didn't last very long because he, he's now back in England. And he was put in charge of the BBC programs and there's a saying in England which you probably have here which is new brooms sweep clean and i think that he came in and he, i think he wanted to make a bit of a show he also there was a story that of course to be i don't i don't know this is purely a supposition i'm just saying what i think i have no knowledge at all of it. Uh, i think also that that uh, that they wanted to push up the the uh, license fees bbc license fees and it was pat Tratton who gave the story to the press thank god it was him and not me uh, and uh, in which he said that uh, he, he thought that if they were very went into a blind panic about Doctor Who being taken off, I mean, the Americans went raving mad, and they had a, thousands of letters and phone calls were received by the, the Americans who went absolutely up in arms about it. And as I know you did, in fact, you had a, I believe you had a march or something. Yeah. 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 You know, thank two marches. Thanks very much. It's it's right it's right great to you. And uh, uh, that's wonderful. And I'm sure that that made him think, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I am always a little bit doubtful, and I'm sure you are, if you're truthful to yourselves, the people who say that they're going to bring things back. Well, how often does it actually happen that they do? But let's all hope that he is going to bring it back, and with the, with the influence and the power that you've all got for the Dr. Who Appreciation Society and fan clubs all over the world, and the world, and the world. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off. How it'll come back, I don't know. I would imagine that in all probability it will come back under a new guise. I would think uh, that it probably will have a new producer, new directors, new art directors and so on. I think that he will try to, you know, instill something new into it, if he brings it back. He certainly don't listen to, to a, for a word, I would say, uh, to a word to people saying, oh, he'll bring it back only to run it for three weeks and then kill off the doctor and that'll be the end. You're never going to bring a show back to do that. That'd be ridiculous. That's all rumor. Never believe anything they, anybody tells you about what's going to happen with Doctor Who. I mean, Colin Baker told me the other day that he hasn't even been told yet that he's fired. <laughs> he doesn't know himself. He, nobody said a thing. They said, oh, we, well, we, we think they're taking it off for 18 months. But nobody's told him officially. They've had a letter from Mr. Gray to say we're taking it off and we're bringing it back. He doesn't know at all. That's he himself, the star of the show. So I'm sure that nobody else knows any better. Uh, we've, we'll just have, we have one more question, and uh, what is the time? Ten past, yes, that's fair enough, I can on at ten past. Yes, sir? I'd like to know what your future prospects are, like, are there any particular roles that you'd like to play, and do you have any regrets for Doctor Who or any other work you've done? I have no regrets whatsoever for Doctor Who, I had five glorious years, which I love. Uh, I was very, very happy in, in, in playing Doctor Who. Uh, the, the love and affection with which I've had from uh, fans in North America and in the United States has been absolutely staggering. Much more, you're far more erudite uh, than the English fans. Uh, you're far more intelligent than the English fans. And in the main, you're very much older. Uh, the average age in America of the, of the fans in America is from about 22 or 21 to 32, 33. In England, it, it is much, much, much younger. Here, it is a bit younger than the United States, but, but again, much older than, than England. Okay, well now look, I've got, um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go down to the dealer's room, and I'm gonna sign photographs that I brought for anybody who wants them. Uh, now listen, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, and, um, I shall then sign a book and do autographs, just ordinary autographs, but to begin with, I'm just selling the photographs from one of the dealer's tables. Um, uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm, I shall be talking again for another hour. Please do not leave the room. Why, sh why shouldn't they leave the room? Yeah, they want to go to the room. <laughs> That's all right, you go and leave the room. <laughs> and tomorrow, I'll be, be, be talking further so we can branch off at a whole 
range of other subjects. Don't feel that you have to talk to me only about Doctor Who. Let's talk about anything which takes the fancy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see how that